So, just to recap, I bought this project as a box of bits. It is not my intention to make it immaculate and use all the original bits. What I want is a reliable runner to use when I want to and to do as much of the work as possible. You'll have seen me use my 3D printer for various rubber parts. This time I want to have a go at making the badges. In another video I'll show you the tank, side panels and mud guards being prepared for painting. I'm hoping a friend will do the painting. In the meantime I want to recreate the badges. Yes I know I can buy them but at £70 a pair for both the tank and then the side panel badges that would be £140 and I can spend that on something else that I need. Also, I like the challenge. So you can find images on the internet of the badges. Someone has made a graphic of the badge. This is a JPEG. Choose the vector package of your own choice and import the image. then be a way of converting the bitmap into a vector drawing. We can get rid of the fill to make it an outline. I am going to concentrate on the M to start with. I'll use the draw tools to trace the M. This will mean a neater version to use. can delete the Marini graphic to leave a neat M behind. I need to export this for use in my 3D software. I'll export it as a DXF file. I'm importing my DXF file into my 3D CAD software. I can resize it on the screen and then I can extrude the profile to make it a 3D object. I guessed a taper to match the actual badge. This gives me the lower half of the badge. In my software I have a bit more drawing to do to complete the next section. Now I can extrude this drawing to get the embossed look on the top of the badge. And that is the M created. Do the other letters. Align and space them. I've done the same process for the Moto name on the badge created a backing plate to hold it all together. It has holes that I can drill and put screws through to hold it onto the tank. Finally, a rendered version to show it painted, I hope. For the 3D print, I've exported the STL file into the slicer software. I've transferred the G-code onto the printer. It took about three hours for the two badges to print. to repeat the process for the 250 badges for the side panel. In order to paint the badges I have used rattle cans, a primer to begin with and then a gold colour to finish. Where I could, the surfaces are sanded with wet and dry paper to try and remove the texture left by the 3D printer. I am hoping a few good coats of paint will also cover the texture to make the appearance smoother. Hours of fun using fine brushes and humbrol enamel to apply the black and red infill colours. Takes me back to my youth painting Airfix models. These are the nearly finished badges. I think they may need another coat or two of the black infill colour. You'll have to wait until the tank and side panels are painted to see what they look like fitted. 